Okay, what's up guys? It's Ruthie. This is vlog four. Since I post these on Thursdays, you guys are getting from Thursday to Thursday is kind of like how it's going. So I was able to go home this past weekend to Pittsburgh. So it was a good time. It was hard for me to not think about school. I arranged my schedule last week so that I could take the weekend off from studying. I did all my homework as much as I could and then I did all my studying like double time basically so that I could just focus on spending time with my loved ones and not have to worry about school. I left Friday and then I came back to Arizona on Sunday evening. It was a very short but sweet trip. Just a little bit of a rewind. I got together with some friends Friday morning before I left. We didn't have class till 10 a.m. So there were some people that were like, hey, why don't we go on like a little mini walk or a hike and de-stress before class. So we ended up going to Papago, which is probably about 15 minutes or so away from school. So we met at school at 6 a.m. and I, I was very determined to be there on time. I ended up waking up later than I wanted to. And I was like, oh man, they're gonna leave without me and, and stuff. And so I got there at like exactly like 5.58 in the morning or something like that. And I was the first one there. So uh, I was really thankful that I wasn't late because I don't like to be late. When we got there, it was more of like a walk. It wasn't like a, an actual hike. Hiking, I know, like it's not something that I've ever really done before. So I was kind of nervous. I was asking like, what should I wear? Like, what should I bring? And, and things like that, but it wasn't, it wasn't anything crazy. And when we got to the top of like the, the mountain or the, the cave or whatever, we, we, we just sat there for probably like around half an hour or so. But when we first got up there, it was like silence, just such a beautiful feeling to just hear the birds and the cars going by and be able, be able to look out into nature and just appreciate God's creation. I mentioned to you guys in the previous video that Next week is our first set of exams. I have my schedule that I wanted to kind of show you guys uh, just how my life's been going right now. Um, so this is Monday through Saturday. Monday through Saturday. And I'm, I'm, it's not very clear, but it doesn't matter. The fact is you can see that I have pretty much something blocked off from 8 a.m. until 8.30 p.m. on Mondays, and then Tuesday, thir uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturdays are a little more flexible because those are the days where I meal prep or I do my laundry or grocery shop or things of that nature. So I kind of leave just a, 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 an amount of hours that I want to study and then I also get other things done. So that's kind of a more flexible day. And it's been a lot and it's, it's not so much the material is confusing per se. I, I would say that there's some concepts that are a little more difficult to understand than others, but it's just a lot of material. And so being taught these things and then having to catch up on those things, plus be taught more things in different classes and then getting projects assigned on top of having to study for exams coming up next week. And then after these exams next week, we still have exams the following week, like in each class, like there's gonna be at least one exam, like every week following that. So it's just like a lot. <laughs> and last week's video was called Overwhelmed and I feel like this is Overwhelmed part two. So there was a meeting for Toastmasters International and it was, um, one, they offered free food, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna go. And two, I've seen their signs in a lot of places in Pittsburgh, and I had been interested in joining a branch of Toastmasters International. For those of you who don't know what it is, I won't go into it in super detail just for the sake of time, but they're basically a, an international, a worldwide organization that develops um, leaders and teaches communication. So if you've ever seen TED Talks before, I know that's like a really big thing now and like I love watching TED Talks or if you've ever been um, to a conference, it is a really, really good idea to be involved with Toastmasters International because they really train you and give you the, the feedback you need in order to be able to speak well and speak professionally. As a doctor to be, it is important and I realize this and not a lot of people do is that you unless you've maybe been in the patient seat like I have, you want to, to be able to understand what your doctor is saying. You want to be able to have a doctor who can communicate what they're trying to say to convey what they need to convey to you so that you understand as a patient, hey, this is what's the problem. This is what we have to do to, to fix it. I attended the meeting and this is something that I've, I've always wanted to do. I, I know I've spoken in conferences before and I've been able to, you know, public speaking was not something that I really had a problem with growing up. I didn't really have stage fright growing up, but now that I am learning more things, I'm like not talking as much because I don't want to say something that's wrong. I don't want to give people false information or mislead people. So this is something that I want to be confident in what I'm saying and that's why I, I don't talk about certain things because I don't have the confidence because I'm not as familiar with the material. So Toastmasters International basically trains you to speak effectively. And if you can speak 
you can influence people. If you can influence people, you can you can literally change the world. And it's it is a really good strength to have is communication skills. And they'll they'll count how many times you say um or uh or you know or and or so or all these little filler words that I used to use on a regular basis and I still do. I know that you know is one of my go-tos for filling and I'm trying to stop doing that. And when I watch these videos and I edit them, I realize all the little breaks that you see where there's like. I'm moving here and I'm going here and I'm like, um, there's a little bit of a pause. That's because I'm trying to get rid of those fillers and I'm being more conscious about it. This hair is like, he's annoying. Anyways, look at that. I wore my hair up today and so I, I took out my ponytail for this video because I don't like how I look in a ponytail. Anyways, so uh, this organization is something I've always wanted to involve myself and, and so this is something that I look forward to because I'm, I love to improve myself and I love feedback on myself. I like people to critique me and say like, oh, you did this or you, you flip your hair too much or you, you blink too much or you are distracting in this sense. And, and I'm all about being professional. I'm all about being able to communicate effectively to people because that's what this is about. You know, life is not about being in your own little box and just living your life the way you want to do it and never ever having to interact with other people. If you want to be an influence, you need to talk to people and you need to be able to communicate and convey a message and be able to be professional about it and, and be able to, to, um, to influence your audience, whether they agree with you or not, but at least they will listen to you because they, they're like, oh, this girl's confident. She knows what she's talking about. But whether I agree with her or not, I love to improve. And so I never get defensive when someone's like, hey, like you did this. I'm like, oh, I'm like, I didn't even know I did that. Or if I, if I do know that I'm doing that, I'm like, yeah, I know and I'm working on it. Like it's something that's in, in the pro process of, of being fixed. And I know it's never an overnight thing, but for example, I used to uh, smack my lips a lot. I used to go like in between each word and, and speaking through a microphone, like those sounds are amplified. And so it's like, you need to stop doing that. And I was hearing myself and fortunately these events that I was speaking at were filmed. And so I could, I could actually hear myself talking and I'm like, ew, I do that? Like, ew, this is so, there's a lot of things that I know I need to work on. And this organization is, is great because it is going to help me to communicate more effectively. And I think it's important for all of us to have that confidence when we stand in front of whether it's 10 people, whether it's 10,000 people, whether it's just your cat or your dog, we need to be confident in what we're saying and be able to, to speak in a professional manner. I, I'm just very thankful for this. I know my exams are coming up next week, so I don't have too much to talk about as far as what's going on with school, other than the fact that I've been studying. I've been coming to school at like 7.45 in the morning before class at eight, and then we have eight classes from like eight to four, and then I go home and eat dinner, and I come back to school, and I stay till like 8.30. I haven't stayed at school past 8.30, but the buildings on campus close around like 10, and some students stay till that. I'm like, I can't, and so I come home, and I, I'm usually ready to go to bed by then. So next week I will have a lot more content regarding medical school and how the exams went. I'm, I'm anxious to see the material that I'm studying because I'm so worried about the little details and I'm afraid that it's going to be a lot more general concepts that are going to be testable. So I'm, I'm anxious to see what it is going to be like. And so stay tuned for that for those of you who are watching more for the medical school content versus like the Ruthie's life outside of medical school content. There's there's a mixture of both and you know it's good to have a balance but I think that that will be it for today because I need to leave to go to study session for my biochem quiz tomorrow. Uh, I have a lot going on so you saw my schedule you saw like all these things that are going on with me and I'm just very again a little overwhelmed but I know that I can do it. I know I'm doing my part to study and to take the time to do that. I've already had to decline some invitations um, to go to these events because I've just, I'm looking at my schedule, I'm like, I need more time. I need to be able to, to learn this concept more and more. And, and then we've been getting projects assigned on top of having to study for these tests. I realized what I signed up for before I got in history. I'm not complaining. Like Jesus says, a wise man, before he goes out to build a building, he needs to sit down and count, okay, what are the materials that I need? What do I need to do? What is my budget? Um, just still learning myself and learning my study habits and what I have to do in order to make sure that I'm learning the material the best way. If it's taking notes on in a notebook, if it's typing it out, if it's using note cards, if it's 
writing it out in different colors. And like I said, if you have any questions, any, any concerns, any comments that you have for me, please put them in the comment section below and I will be sure to answer your questions. I'm sure there's content that will be beneficial to somebody out there from these videos. I will catch you guys next week and I hope you have a great day.